that we've hit a bottom or are close. Let's welcome in Professor Jeremy Siegel of the Wharton School down in Philadelphia. It's good to see you, Professor. Welcome back. Happy to see you, Scott. So your, your first read on the CPI today, um, as I mentioned at the top, absolutely still hot, um, but at least seems to be going in the right direction. It's going in the right direction, but uh, you know we're beginning to see the housing sector, which is so important for the CPI, and which I have said you know repeatedly on your program and before is very lagged in the way that it is in the in, in, computed into the index. That's going to lift the index for the next six to nine months. So we we have had a lot of inflation that hasn't actually shown up in the index. So we're not going to get some good prints, I think. Take a look at next month. You know, energy, which came down, we know gas prices have already exceeded their previous high. That's It's going to be a terrible print next month. So, I, you know, my, my feeling is I would like to see the Fed just say, listen, we can go 100 basis points. We, we're going to really be serious about this inflation. I actually think after an initial sell down, the market would rally and say, you know what? The central bank is protecting our currency, which is something that we need. That, that said, and I, I want to make this point. Go ahead. I've seen a slowdown in money growth in the last two months. That is promising, but just the beginning. They have to keep their eye on money. I mean. Consumer prices did fall in April for the first time in, in, in eight months. Now, I, I know I'm, I'm not naive to the fact of, of where, where costs are still high and the struggles that families have to put food on the table to fill the gas tank. I'm not naive to that a, at all. But if the Fed is looking at, at all of this and says, we are at least confident that inflation has peaked. We can do 50 like we just did, and let's do another 50 in June, and then let's see where we're at. And maybe their strategy isn't proven wrong just yet. No, I mean, and, and honestly, you know, since they should have started early next year, the question of whether they do 75, 25 versus 50, 50 now really doesn't mean that much. I mean, they, they've started way too late. We're suffering the consequences, actually, of the money splurge of 2020, early 2021. And there's really, it's built in. And all that the Fed can do is to say, well, what is built in, which is another 10 to 15 percent, I think higher ultimately of the price level. At least we're not going to make it more than that. We're going to slow it down from that position. But so much is baked in right now um let's just hope the fed doesn't go overboard and say oh my goodness we have to pull a volcker moment and get interest rates up to 10 or 15 percent i mean that would be certainly uncalled for but uh honestly whether it's 75 25 or 50 50 at this point given how late they've been it's not going to change the profile money this interest rate moves monetary policy is not like steering the wheel on the car you turn it you're on a mountain road and it moves to the right it, it it works 12 months later sometimes 18 months later you cannot operate like a precision instrument okay and i have to admit we've been late oh yeah there's inflation built in and that's that's going to be in in the works for the next six to nine to 12 months